Hi, I'm Tyson Franklin and welcome to this week's video. I'm titling this week's video, Looking for Mr. Right. Now, if you're male, put in brackets, Mrs. Right. This, the same thing applies. The story I'm going to tell is about a woman who is looking for the perfect man. And I can't remember if I saw this on Dr. Phil or it might have been Zig Ziglar. And you may have heard this story yourself, but I'm going to relate this, Looking for Mr. Right, to also looking for an ideal patient, client, or customer. How the story goes is this woman is asked, what type of man are you looking for? And she says, oh, yeah, I want someone who's tall. I want them to have dark hair. I want them to have thick, thick hair. They need to have broad shoulders. Be relatively fit. They, they look after themselves. They exercise. They eat well. They have a high-paying job. They're respected in the community. They've got a lot of assets behind them. They're beautiful house. They drive a nice car. They go on overseas holidays. And they want to look after me and treat me like a princess. And that's all fair. And the person who was doing this said to him, okay, now, why don't you just come over here and look in the mirror? Now, stand there and look at yourself. And then ask yourself the question, that person that you just described, are they looking for you? And I think that's a, that's a really, really tough question to ask yourself. And I'm not saying this is like, a woman looking for a man, you can reverse this around. So it could be a man looking for a woman. The only difference would be very few men are going to say, I'm looking for a wealthy woman who's going to sweep me off my feet. We just know that's not going to happen. Now, when you think about this, what he was saying, is that person looking for you? Are they wanting someone that looks like you? They might be. You might be exactly what they're looking for. But in general, if you're not looking after yourself, if you've got no savings, you let yourself go a little bit, you're not exercising, you're eating the wrong foods, you're doing the opposite to what the person is that you're looking for, the chances are of you meeting them is very unlikely. How does this relate to your business, to your podiatry business? If you think about your ideal client, customer, or patient, really picture them, put an image in your head, what they look like, how they dress, what sort of work do they do? You go through all this, Write it all down. Who is your ideal patient? And then ask yourself, would your ideal patient walk into your business, into your podiatry clinic? And I know there's some podiatry clinics I look at and I just go, I wouldn't walk in there. There's worn out carpets, signage is terrible. It's in a dark alleyway. It looks dingy. The reception counter looks old. It just Everything about it says cheap, and everything about it says discount. So if you're looking for people with a discounted, cheap mindset, then you are going to be a perfect fit for them. Like this woman could have actually said, oh, I'm looking for someone that looks like Danny DeVito. Could have been perfect. Now, if you're wanting a patient that is looking for a premium service, or who wants, who's prepared to actually pay for a premium service and pay for advice, then chances are your business, your podiatry clinic, has got to look like something that they're going to go to. So the idea of this video is to get you to stop and think about who is the patient, who is the ideal client that you're after, and does your clinic match with them? And take an honest look in the mirror at your business. Have a look at it. Stand across the road from where it is, or if you're in a, if you're in a, a mall or something, stand there and look at it from the outside. Go inside and look around, and then go and look at other podiatry clinics and ask yourself, how does your podiatry business compare to other podiatry businesses? And give yourself a, a, a rating. If there's 10 podiatry clinics in your area or five podiatry clinics in your area, go and have a look at them all and ask yourself, where would I rank myself on street appeal, on everything about my business? And then think about the patients that you're chasing. If that ideal patient that you're chasing, which podiatry clinic would they be looking at? Would they be looking at yours or would they be looking at somebody else's? Now, if your podiatry clinic at the moment is sort of mm, a little bit down here and you want to bring it up here, then just slowly make those changes. It doesn't mean you can't do it. It's like the example is going about this woman who's looking for Mr. Right, Mr. Perfect. If that's what she wants, then more than likely she can probably still get that, but she may need to change a few things in her life first to become more appealing. Do exactly the same thing with your podiatry business. If you do that, and like I said, you're not going to transform everything overnight, just like a person can't transform themselves overnight. But you can make small changes long term. And by making those small changes, those changes will be noticed and you'll start attracting the right ideal patient, the Mr. Perfect patient or Mrs. Perfect patient. 
whatever it is that you're actually chasing. I hope you get something from that. If you're enjoying these videos, please tell your podiatry friends. If you, if you don't have any, then that's fine. But remember, to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos when they come through. And give us a thumbs up if you actually like this video. If you didn't like the video, please give us a thumbs down. I'm cool with that as well. And don't forget the next two-day podiatry business reboot is going to be in Cairns on the 26th and 27th of July. It's going to be fantastic. All the details are on my website. Just go to tysonfranklin.com, click on events, and just follow all the prompts from there. I hope to see you in July. Okay, look after yourselves, and I'll have another video for you next week. Okay, bye.